Good morning. Citizen Voice is visiting the Pataki Hotel today for the World Climate Summit. We've just arrived and our first interview is with Espen from Sustainia. Can you tell us about your work? Yes, sure. Um, Sustainia is a think tank based in Copenhagen. We do uh, research and identify solutions for climate change and sustainability. Um, what we've done for the last four years is publish this publication right here, called uh, Sustainia 100. Um, and that gathers 100 sustainable solutions from around the world. Because what we've found is that the, the whole narrative around climate change and sustainability has very much been focused on doomsday scenarios and all the obvious challenges that we're facing. But this publication actually shows that a lot of people, a lot of ent entrepreneurs around the world are making a difference and, and the solutions exist already. The, the key thing is that we just need to scale them and make them work at a l way larger extent. Yes, and the importance of an individual becoming educated and involved, even if they don't consider themselves an expert. How do you get this message out to the ordinary person? I think it's clear that a lot of people can make a difference, uh, either by, by consuming differently, buy sustainable products, but you can also make a difference by, by dedicating your time and effort. And I think this actually proves that a lot of these people, they've come from all sorts of different places and just had a good idea and then dedicated their time to it and then all of a sudden they found themselves actually m making a true impact on, on the world that we're, we're in today. Mm -hmm. And how many people are, do you employ and uh, where are you located other than in Copenhagen? We're, our offices are in Copenhagen, but we look at ourselves as international and globally orientated. Um, like today we're in Paris uh, and we've done events and, uh, and, and different kinds of seminars and workshops around the world. Uh, we're 15 uh, people currently. Uh, looking to become 20 in the relatively, in the relatively soon time span. Um, and, uh, and I think in general, when we're talking about sustainability and climate change projects, it's very important to have the global outlook. Because if you don't uh, make sure that you, that you actually are looking at things from a global perspective, you won't solve the problems. This cannot be solved within the national agenda. It needs to be a global voice. It needs to be a global agenda. And that's what we're pushing for as well. Uh, we certainly are all connected and I'm, I'm curious if there is a connection in the United States that our viewers could connect to and if you could give us your website so we can follow your work. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we do have a lot of uh, U.S. partners uh, in the sense that we're working with the, with the United Nations and the United Global Compact, uh, and they're one of our partners. So we're oftentimes in New York uh, for their events uh, and, uh, and, and such. Uh, moreover, uh, we're working with the National Resource Defense Council. Uh, they're one of our advisors for the Sustaining 100, mm -hmm. as well as Cornell University, Berkeley, uh, and a couple other American knowledge institutions. Uh, so we do have connections in, in the States, definitely. Um, our website is sustainia.me uh, and, uh, and you can follow us on Twitter as well. We are we're currently using the hashtag 100 Solutions and uh, we also just uh, published a new publication called Cities 100 with City Solutions to Climate Change and that's under the hashtag, hashtag Cities 100. And Paul and Mindy will be bringing that back uh, to the United States with us. And you can consider having a partner now in Minnesota That's in the center part of the United States. So thank you so much for your time and for your work. Thank you. That sounds great. And thank you, too. You're welcome. This is Paul signing off from the Pataki Hotel on the Sunday in between the two weeks of COP21.